back at the border. Fox News has learned that officials have cleared the horse-mounted Border Patrol agents of wrongdoing after they were accused of whipping migrants in September and placing them on probation. Hey guys, welcome to Matt and Exile. And I think this is great news. First thing, this border agent was doing his job. Uh, he's riding that horse, and yes, did the picture get taken that looked kind of strange, looked like he was whipping someone? Yes, it did. But the fact is, he wasn't. A reins for a horse isn't meant to whip a human being. It's meant to steer the horse, and they're long. It just looks look look, ba- look just look bad. That's all. That's all it did. And the media and the Democrats decided to take advantage of it and gaslight this uh, border agents. Not only that, not only this border agent, but all border agents make them look like they're like part of the clan or something. And the fact is, they went out there to do their job and stop these immigrants from crossing the border at that point in time because they had way too many immigrants in that uh, area in uh, Rio. I think they had, uh, what, 15,000 people? They couldn't fit anymore, and it was getting dangerous. And that's the reason they were trying to stop people from coming across and keep them over in the Mexico side until they could process these people. Now, why did the Democrats do this? Why did they decide to gaslight the border agents over this? And in my opinion, it was to demoralize them. They want them to do what the Democrat and the media wants them to do, and that is Just leave it wide open and help people get across and process them, and that's it. They don't want them to go any further than that. They don't want them actually doing their jobs or following the Constitution or following the laws that are on the book when it comes to immigration. They want them to be subservient to the upper class. And, okay, and the other question you have to ask, why did Democrats want to have the borders open anyway? In my opinion, it's because they believe the model of government they want to have in the United States is China model. And the China model, how it works there, is they have the upper class, which is the rich and the political elites. And then you have the subservience, or uh, pretty much the working class that don't make any money. Hardly any money. They make enough money to stay alive, and that's it. And uh, that's what they want in the United States. They want something similar, and what group of people better than immigrants to bring here in order? Uh, because the fact is, the countries they're coming from, they're not making that much money. Not even close to 7 or $8 an hour. So they could come here, pay them 7 to $8 an hour, and that seems like a lot of money to them. And it's a perfect opportunity for them to establish the type of government they want and the type of workforce they want. Because the way it's going, with their control over... Uh, corporations and stuff like that that they're trying to move towards with this great reset it fits all of the dynamics of that of what they want to do have a a, a subservient class uh, uh there are these illegal immigrants and also people that uh aren't part of the uh, political class or the uh, rich will be in that class right there and then you would have the rich and the uh uh, political class that will tell them what to do, how to do it, and when to do it. But guys, that's my opinion. That's my assessment of what I'm seeing here. And I hope you all enjoy. Please hit like and subscribe. It helps the channel grow. Peace.